Hello, welcome to the Cozy Corner. It's your host Cozy, and today I'm here to do the Capricorn Soulmate Readings for November 2019. So this time around, y'all, I am putting on dates. I'm putting this. I'm tying this to November 2019. I know the lighting is weird. I won't be able to show y'all the cards, so I will just basically have to talk. Um, I'm not feeling the need to. I really just wanted to show y'all the layout, really more than anything. So, I'm not feeling the need that y'all need to see me. I'm sorry about my voice. It's like 5 a.m. right now. I was woken up by people in my household. Not mine, but anyways. I uh, I was woken up at 3. I tried to go back to sleep. Nothing is working, so I'm up doing readings. Hey, Spirit said, while you got the chance, go ahead and put them readings out. Because once it hit in daylight, you're going to be feeling like I got to go, go, go. And I know what they mean. So... Today, I'm just going to get started on y'all readings. Y'all know I feel like God protects me every step of the way. So, every reading don't need a prayer. I pray just so people feel comfortable and know that I am calling in good spirits so that we can get these readings out, not bad ones. Okay? Because anything that is negative anyways is not allowed around me anyways. Okay? My mom did a blessing when she did all of the things she did for me when I was a baby and while I was inside of her because my mom was a witch at the time. So my mom did spells and everything like that and protected my soul and I'm really grateful that, for that. It makes me want to cry a little bit. I almost got teary eyed. <laughs> but I really appreciate my mom for that so much because it lets me know. Like she didn't tell me until this year. I didn't find that out until this year you are. So I always like felt the need to not be tied to a religion. And then I, I fell into this like stuff and it was amazing. So my mama that's what my mama told me like in June right before I like left and she told me yeah I did this and that and now and you know I don't do that stuff no more because I've, I've grown out of it but yeah I used to do that stuff and I did that for you and da 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 and I'm like oh my god yeah so now it all makes sense so anyways I'm just letting y'all know a little bit little bit little bit okay first of all I did not see this card at the bottom I definitely saw something else i'm not i'm tripping right no i saw another card at the bottom y'all i swear to god i did no i'm tripping right here's the tower at the top okay i'm tripping no 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 okay i'm confused a little bit but anyways these cards are ready i already shuffled until they told me they were ready so we just gonna get started i'm pulling on two energies it could be you and somebody around you so this is the secondary energy and you can you can flip it if it needs to be flipped okay Capricorns I love y'all man y'all did it wonderful wonderful so y'all definitely deserve a soulmate reading and I'm feeling that these these readings that I'm putting out it's not gonna be intended for everybody who finds them so please um, just take what resonates and leave the rest for everybody else um, also at the end, I will be getting an archetype card for what y'all need to be aware of within yourself and the person or the person around you. The energy can be vice versa with these cards because we are pulling on a soulmate connection. So most of the time, soulmate connection means we're dealing with mutual energy of each other or we're dealing with stuff on our own. Anyways, we're basically tied to that person. It could be a lover, a family member, or a friend. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. These cards are ready. I'm ready to go. Alright, first card out for the Capricorns. What is their cards? What are the cards? I talked to y'all a little bit more than Scorpios. I just got straight into Scorpio reading, but okay. Scorpios are like that sometimes. Four of Wands. Ooh, that sounds good. Alright, clarify that four of wands. Hold on. I can't see like that. Okay, it flipped up. Damn. Okay. Clarify that four of wands. So a four ones relationship is like a real soulmate twin flame connection where y'all might live with each other or get married. Oh, judgment in reverse. God is telling you something and I ask you are listening about a soulmate. Hmm. Huh. You're trapped in something that you feel in victorious in. So maybe you're trapped in a lease with this person. See, that's what I mean. Like Think good things can come out and then something comes out and then I'm like, huh? Yeah, you're trapped in something that's for somebody else's own benefit. Um, let's see. 
What else can you tell me about those Capricorns energy? Like I said, this is not for everybody. That's why I say that because sometimes it's like the Nine of Cups came out and it was at the bottom of the deck. Definitely something for your own benefit or their benefit. I'm, get, I'm getting this yours with the freaking hair in front in reverse underneath. Yep. Somebody's faking a commitment or not being committable, not being committed at all. Um, but the, it's a dynamic where you live together and y'all not together. It's a lot of confusions, overburdening, over, overburdening out of balance. It's a lot of delusions and egotistical plays. Egotistical plays. Hmm. All right, let's get your person's energy. What is their energy towards Capricorn or just in general? Capricorn. Oh, the Empress could be dealing with a Taurus and the Chariot. You could be dealing with a freaking Cancer, and they had two major arcana. So their energy is one to grow. They might be pregnant. Oh, okay. So you don't want to commit, but you you might end up. You might end up committing based on this person um, being pregnant or just wanting to move forward and grow with you because you're going to understand that they're wanting to grow. And it could be it's a situation where you don't want to be in it. You don't want to be in this with this person. They don't want it to end. And they're, they might be hiding this pregnancy. They might be hiding this pregnancy. Or they're a really truthful person. Hold on. Clarify that, Empress. Clarify that, Empress. Clarify the Empress for Capricorns. Is this person hiding it or not? Clarify the Empress. Nah, man. Ace of Wands. Uh, I don't know, dude. Hold on. Let me ask again, y'all. I'm sorry. Clarify the Ace. I mean, clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress. Come on, dude. Clarify the Empress. Uh, four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. With the Three of Swords underneath. Uh, with the Emperor card. Yeah. Somebody's. <sighs> They're not happy with being pregnant. At all. Mm-mm. Alright. They're not happy with it. You're happy with it because you probably get the trap. Ooh. That was wrong of me to say. I almost got on y'all case. I didn't mean to get that bad, but um, they could be a Libra also. What the fuck? They got so many energies around them. Dude, they definitely could be a Libra. Here go the Queen of Swords. Dude, they have too much energy around them. They probably do have a baby because that's two energies. Baby could be a Libra or a Taurus or a Cancer with their pregnant right now. And y'all could be going to court due to this lease because the justice is here. So whoever you're messing with, they don't feel happy at all so they're really going to push forward to be the the maker in their own life and they might take you to court and not care about it at all and it might cause a lot of confusions where somebody's spying on you or getting into too much in your business that's what i feel but with court you are having somebody get too much in your business anyway because the judge don't know you from a can of paint and i really don't like going to court i'm just gonna let y'all know that now because these people hmm, let me break it down to I don't like dealing with authority because authority feels like just because they have authority, they need to be in your business. It's none of your business. Don't ask me what happened, what happened. Read the police report on what happened. Like, read whatever documents you have that I have to be... Read whatever documents is in front of you that made me have to be here today before you ask me anything. Like, don't ask me no questions. I don't feel like having no physical um personal conversation with you like you're finna hit me with a lot of fives why do you think we want to be friends like i don't get those people but anyways clarify i mean give me one more card for capricorn's person one more card for capricorn's person you're being non-committal what is wrong with you oh you like your bachelor life but you want to be married. God is telling you you finna get married. So I don't know why you're doing that. So King of King of Wands. Like I said, I can't show y'all the cards. But I keep doing it because I'm always used to doing it. Um, King of Rods and Revert. So yeah, somebody was very... Oh, somebody's finna get justice out of a situation where somebody was very like flirty with other people. Clarify this King of Wands in reverse. Clarify the King of Wands. Yep. 
somebody's gonna get some will of fortune somebody's gonna get some justice and somebody might be moving away from situations where they do can't they can deal with somebody but it won't be with somebody who's sneaky and deceptive all right i want you to clarify the hero front in reverse over here clarify the hero front all right yo the emperor in reverse didn't i tell y'all that the emperor in reverse was at the bottom of this deck for this person didn't i tell you all right so i'm just saying yep overly controlling you it's like you're overly controlling because you don't have any control why are you doing that so i don't know vice versa flip it how it needs to be flipped but that's the energy that i'm reading and i'm not trying to get on your case but you might want to chill out what is a four of wands four of wands something in the past that happened four of wands four of wands okay we got one card oh we got two hold on oh we got three and then the empress pops out what the freak okay so we have the night the nine of swords in reverse the three of swords in reverse and the tempers in reverse yeah this is an out of balance situation that somebody is continuously getting hurt over and it's the empress it's her so whoever power this flips the other person is getting hurt by somebody being this way so somebody who's being not wanting to be committal, not wanting to grow, not wanting to actually have that thing going on um, where it's like so heavy, they're actually hurting the other person. They're humiliating the other person. They're feeling humiliation and not happy and not feeling like they're con the controller of their own life, their own existence. You have to allow people to have that in themselves. If you take that away from somebody, they're going to have, they're going to start despising you. Okay, four of wands. Give me one more card for the four of wands. Four of wands, five. Five of wands. Yeah, a lot of arguments. A lot of arguments going on. Due to somebody's happiness. Yup. All right. Let's get these archetypes, man. This, these readings have been, like, real crazy. But at night, the readings come out quick anyway. So, let me start doing my videos at night. But I'm like a day girl. I like to for y'all to see my face see how i'm glowing these days anyways so i'm gonna recap as i shuffle these so basically it's a home dynamic where god is telling you something needs to be surrendered and it's a lot of it's a lot of confliction and arguments due to somebody not being happy in a situation wow and the god card come out wow so somebody's being like overly Somebody's like based on their satisfaction, they're being like, I don't want to commit, I want to, I don't want to do this, I don't want to settle down yet, I want to just stay. Like, it's like a controlling energy, it's not like the divine masculine energy, or the hair front is like a divine spiritual teacher, or somebody who has a lot of wisdom, somebody who actually is involved with commitment. And the, the emperor is too, he's the person who's involved with commitment, he has a divine feminine, which is the empress, and you're not being that for that empress. Or they're not being that for you. However, this flips. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Some in some situations it's going to be flipped, and in some situations this is you. So you gotta, you gotta let your ego. Let me talk to your ego real quick, okay? So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Based on somebody' happiness, this is not right. And this is the person who's actually happy with this dynamic, but the other person isn't happy. So on this side, with this person's energy, they're not happy because they feel like they can't grow with this person. They can't have kids with this person. All they can do is go on and shoot their own shot by themselves and be the controller of their own life. Yeah, because they need justice and it's an imbalanced situation with this person that's the king of rods. Yeah, this, this flirty person. And they feel like they're going to get their karma anyway. But... But this person over here, they feel like they're going to get their karma. They're going to move on. but And this person is going to get their karma. But they're going to be fine. Okay? Alright, the God card came out. So, I'm just saying. Advocate. Okay, so what is the first card for the Capricorn's energy? Alchemist. Alchemist. What is the card for their partner's energy? What is the card for their partner's energy? What is the card for their partner's energy? Oh God, oh God. Big Sean, no. 
Him and Janae got me messed up. I'm friendly. I'm really finna get mad, y'all. Cause Big Sean and Janae Iko got me so messed up, bro, with that song. When I got to the end, it was like the last 50 seconds he was in the song. I was like, oh, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all think I'ma listen to this whole song just to hear his ass on the track. I don't give a fuck. Heal how you heal, bitch. But no. Uh-uh. No. It ain't no having my ex on no song, man. Fuck my ex. And that's not even on no angry shit. That's just... Why are you still involving, like, Janae, I'm finna really get mad at you, girl. Cause, if it didn't work out, that means he's somehow, okay, whatever you say, Janae. She said shut up, she told me shut up, so I'm gonna shut up. Whatever you say, Janae, I can't tell you your life. Even though you be reading the fuck out of minds, bitch, in them songs. <laughs> Bitch be having me all the way in my feelings. Like, damn, bitch, can I have a break? Then I got to Big Sean's part. I'm like, oh, hell no. You got me so messed up. You think I'm going to hear your side of the story? <laughs> yeah, I like Big Sean too, though. He's fine as hell. I'm sorry. Big Sean is a good looking man. Vampire. Wow. Why did Vampire come out? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. And I'm not feeling this their energy. I'm not feeling this their energy. Mm -mm. Ooh. Okay, I get it now. Because the light attribute. Okay, so I know what to read on this side. So what do I read on this side? Dog. Okay. So I'm going to read both. <laughs> Y'all see my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to read both. You're going to have to decide which one is for you. Um, I'm going to be, well, they're telling me be quite honest about which side you think is for each side. So I got it. Okay. So, alchemist. The light attribute. Transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Alright. And then the shadow attribute misuse of power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice so i'm gonna be honest about what side i feel like is the right side to be listening to on this side if this is your energy or the other person's it would be the shadow attribute the misuse of power and knowledge the hero front and the emperor power is the in emperor knowledge is the hero front you misuse of power power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. Then I just say that the Hierophant is a spiritual teacher. And he had to practice that in order to be a teacher for it. This person is being... They're misusing their powers for the bad. And they think it's for the good. I think I'm picking up on situations that's dark tonight. Mm. Or somebody's dark. Somebody. That's what I'm saying. It's not for everybody who watches this. Because... These energies that I'm picking up on tonight, and they're not even heavy energies that's draining my energy, so I'm not getting too involved in it. It's just um, the the intellect is like that right now. Um, so on the other side is the vampire. Light attribute makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. Shadow attribute depleting others for your psychic survival. Chronic complaining and codependency. So, I'm going to be quite honest about what I feel on that side. It would be the light attribute. You need to be aware of somebody taking your life force, which could be this person, and they're doing it for their own benefit. So, be aware of somebody sucking your life force, draining your life your life force. I said voice. Or voice? Voice? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, because you're a person who wants to grow. You're a person who, who don't stay stagnant in situations. So, it's best for you Taurus, Libra, uh, I almost said Capricorn, sorry. Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, it could be you, uh, or Cancer, whoever you are on this side. You gotta let this person go, because this person could be really taking your energy, and you don't even know it. It's like you're still sitting fine, sitting pretty, but one day you won't be sitting fine and sitting pretty. That's what I have to tell you, okay? They told me shut up. You got it done. They ain't tell me. They don't tell me shut up, y'all. They they're not mean spirit guides. Um, they talk a little bit. Um, well, I'm not gonna say they talk too much. It's just a lot of them talking at one time, and 
I have to tell them to slow down a little bit because I need to hear one person at a time. So yeah. All right. So anyways. Here we go. I love y'all Capricorns. Hopefully y'all didn't get so mad at me that y'all were going to unsubscribe or, well, unsubscribe. Because anytime somebody unsubscribes, God got me. <laughs> but, um, that y'all going to comment rude things and be like, why would you say that about me? It's not about you. It's not towards you. It's nothing personal, baby. It's your energy. Um, you're not the person to be yelling at about that shit either because I will really read you your life. Anyways, and not with the cards, baby. <laughs> Anyways, Capricorns, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have been wonderful. Sorry that this was so short, but the, the messages are coming like that. So it's going to be short. Sorry. Um, love y'all. Y'all go, go on and do what you got to do this month. I don't know. Just choose what you what's good for you, baby, before anything. All right. Bye. <laughs> Like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, bye.